How to make the neon line transition. Today's video is sponsored by Nobody, because I was too lazy. Add any fusion transition between your clips, right click in the transition, and select open in fusion page. Delete the transition node. Add a merge node and connect your second clip as a foreground to the merge. Add a polygon mask to your second clip, and draw a shape around the area you want. Once you made your mask, add a displace node in empty space. Disconnect the mask from your clip. Connect it in the yellow point of the displace, and the displace back to your clip as a mask. Bring a fast noise node, and connect it to the green point of the displace. Play around with the detail, scale, contrast, and brightness sliders until you get some edges that you like. Increase the seethe rate to add animation to the edges. Once you are satisfied with your edges, add a new merge node after the current one. Select the mask, with the displace and the fast noise, and duplicate those three nodes. Bring a new fast noise node. Connect the displace to this node, and the fast noise is a foreground to the second merge node. Select this second mask node. Uncheck the solid box, and increase the border width a bit. Add a glow node between the fast noise and the merge. Decrease the shine threshold to zero, and the spread to minimum amount. Change the color and increase the brightness. Select the mask node. Make sure that you are in the first frame, activate the keyframe for the length slider, and bring it down to zero. Go 6 frames forward and bring the length slider to 1. Select the first merge node. Go to the frame 6 where your line is completed. Activate the keyframe for the blend slider. Go 1 frame back and set the blend slider to 0. Now your second clip is visible when the line is completed. The only thing left is to animate the mask. Add a transform node between the displace and your clip. Copy this node and paste it between the glow node and the second merge by holding down Ctrl Shift and V. This way you are making an instance copy, so any changes you are making it will affect both nodes. Select the transform node. Go in the frame where your line is completed. Activate the keyframe for the size slider. Go in the last frame and increase the size. You can animate the angle value with the same way also. If you want to smooth out the animation, open the spline editor. Select every keyframe and press the S key. If you like this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, it's a YouTube video. Who cares?